Washington. Two men in California exposed one of the largest cases of fraud in the history of the state, more than $950 million. Bill Reynolds and Mark Sersansi discovered doctors were being paid to perform what some say were unnecessary spinal fusion surgeries. The scam involved doctors allegedly implanting counterfeit hardware into hundreds of patients. Judge, former police officer, and host of the CBS series Whistleblower Alex Ferreira spoke to the two men and patients left with devastating consequences. Come on up, guys. These are the whistleblowers. Oh my God. Nearly a decade after Bill Reynolds and Mark Sersansi first learned about one of the most outrageous medical frauds in California history. Thank you. I would have continued blaming myself. They met with some of the patients still suffering from the devastating consequences of this scam. After surgery, it was nothing but pain-filled days. I couldn't sit. I couldn't walk. I couldn't be a parent. I didn't, didn't want to leave anymore. You didn't want uh, to live anymore? No. I, one time, I, I was planning, I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna run so I didn't get killed. Together, they would discover an illegal scheme where middlemen were paid to find patients who had back problems stemming from work-related injuries, and doctors were paid kickbacks to perform the spinal surgeries at specific hospitals. One of the physicians wanted Super Bowl tickets, airfare, and hotel. Yes. The scam left many patients in unbearable pain from surgeries some say they didn't need in the first place. This was entirely a medically unnecessary surgery that was performed. Ultimately, they would learn that hospitals were not only overbilling for the spinal hardware. I'm looking at invoices that ranged anywhere from 350 to 475,000. But in many instances, dangerous counterfeit hardware was implanted into the backs of innocent people. We've had experts come out that have identified my screws as being counterfeit screws. Counterfeit screws, like this one, quickly got mixed in with FDA-approved screws, like this one made by a reputable medical device company from South Korea. Those screws go into patients' bones. Little pieces of those threads can break off in people's bodies and end up in their tissue. It can cause serious complications. The pain has traveled up to my neck, to my shoulders. I'm positive it is because of the counterfeit hardware that was placed mm -hmm. in my back. Do you think your doctor knew that the hardware was counterfeit? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Every one of you said that? Yes. yes. Without hesitation? Yes. No. Why do you think that? Greed, money. It's important to blow the whistle on this. Somebody has to step forward and bring the attention to the magnitude of this problem. Alex Ferrer is with us now. Alex, good morning. Here's a question I good never morning. thought I'd be asking. Uh, what are the repercussions of having counterfeit screws in your back? Well, as you saw Derricka Moses on the piece, she suffered excruciating, she still suffers to this day, excruciating pain. She had infections for years until the screws were taken out of her back and determined that three out of the four were counterfeit. Um, typically, those screws do not come out. Once they're in, bone grows over them, and they're, they're there to stay. The, the, the other patient, we, one of the other patients we interviewed, Mary Bravo, is in unbearable pain. Uh, she actually collapsed during our interview. Um, it, the, the repercussions of these screws being in your body is is just so dramatic because being Lower that they're not medical material they're not medical grade titanium right. yeah. so they can leach toxins into your blood Ugh. and they also can break pieces off into your tissue and the worst part about it is they made 10,000 counterfeit screws and mixed them in surgical trays with real screws there is no way for us to know who's walking around with surgical screws. How many, how many people were walking screws around with them in there then? Yeah. And there's no way to tell how many or who they are. Or who they're in. How many people were involved in this scam, Alex? Uh, well, the scam was much bigger than, than just the part we're reporting. I mean, we're reporting about what happened in California, and it involved the, uh, the, owner, of the owner of a hospital, Pacific Hospital of Long Beach in California, who's now doing five years in prison and is ordered to pay back $10 million. Middlemen who were hired to pay kickbacks to doctors uh, and kickbacks to people who brought them patients for the back surgeries. And the doctors Do knew what they were doing? Doctors who were getting kickbacks for performing surgeries, some of which people say were completely unnecessary. Uh, there's a question about whether whether doctors knew that the surgical screws were counterfeit. The federal criminal investigation that's been going on focused on the kickbacks, not on the on the whether they were counterfeit or not. There's a pending whistleblower suit that's been stayed. But this was all part of a larger nationwide health care fraud investigation. 
the part we're reporting was a scam of about a billion dollars, and that's money that taxpayers pay. Yeah. Yeah. The nationwide yeah. one is $2 billion. They might not have known if the screws were counterfeit, but they certainly knew that they didn't necessarily have to do the surgery yeah. that they were doing. And how, there's, how there's about 100 and so patients suing them right now. And those are the ones who feel they know that they were victimized. There's so many that there's no way to know. How I was going to ask how many people, what happened to the people involved in the crime? Do you, do you know that? Well, there's about 165 doctors in the nationwide scheme that have been indicted, as well as nurses, uh, um, an attorney. I mean, it's, it's a very broad uh, investigation, but our part is, is that we're reporting is uh, limited really to most of California. All, All right. right, Alex. Thank it's, you. It's good to see you. We appreciate it. Always hard to hear the stories, but good to see your face. Thank appreciate you. It's it. great to be here. You can watch Whistleblowers, the billion-dollar back surgery scam, patients in pain and peril. That's tonight at 8, 7 central here on CBS.